Don't wait for nobody. Make it happen by yourself, okay? Okay. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Akila, also known as Akila Amazing. And today, I'm coming at y'all with a video all about how I take my own pictures. So if you're like me, you don't always have somebody to take pictures of you. And today, I'm just gonna be showing you guys some tips and tricks and all the resources that you need in order to take pictures of yourself by yourself because guess what we are self-sufficient queens go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you feel me so anyways we're gonna go ahead and hop right on into it today i'm gonna be going out i'm gonna be taking some pictures of myself getting some shots for the gram and i just want to bring you guys along with me so i got my tripod i'm bringing my camera i'm even going to share with you guys how i do it with my phone is well let's go ahead and make it happen all right y'all so i finally found a good place to take pictures the original place i wanted to go was a little bit too hot there were cops around just people all around i ain't gonna lie this can be pretty awkward so i like to find somewhere that's kind of private secluded you know just somewhere where my peace isn't disturbed i don't even know what this place is but i've shot here before and the pictures turned out so dope so let me share with you guys what it looks like so i have no idea what this is it looks like some type of office suite but we have some nice greenery on this side i'll probably play a little bit um over here so right now i'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what i use to take my pictures so this is my setup my tripod is from walmart and i am using my canon eos m50 and then the lens that i'm using is the canon 50 millimeter 1.8 i really like this lens because it gives me like a nice crispy blurred background and right on time the sun started coming out so i got my camera set up back there and my remote ready to go this is my background literally a playground kids parents whoever but at the end of the day i know what i came here to do and i'm gonna do it i'm gonna get these shots so let's go ahead and handle our business all right, y'all, so as a remote, when I'm taking my pictures, I'm using my phone and it's connected to Canon's Connect app, which also acts as a viewfinder so that I can make sure that I'm in focus and all my poses are on point. The app is free in the App Store and it's pretty easy to connect to your phone or iPad. And I plan on doing a separate video that goes into a bit more detail about the settings and how to connect everything. But right now I am just posing, trying to get a good shot. And when doing this, I try to hide my phone as much as possible and then I just crop it out. But right now I'm just looking through the pictures on the app and seeing which ones I like But girl, I did not like any of these pictures. They were not given what they were supposed to give So I went ahead and grabbed my iPhone to take some pictures So for these pictures, I am using my iPhone X But I recently upgraded to the iPhone 12 and let me tell y'all the camera is so fire But that's another story for another day But I just put my phone on the tripod and I purchased this phone adapter amount from Amazon So once I got everything set up to take my pictures, tell me why my remote battery died so so I actually ended up having to use the self timer, which got the job done. But for these pictures, I am using the front cam because I like to see myself, but for the best quality, definitely make sure to use the back cam. And for the best quality, definitely make sure that your lens is clean, no fingerprints, no dust, none of that. But here are the final pictures. They turned out really cute. I like the colors. I just think that, you know, it's a vibe. Anyways, I'll definitely recommend a Bluetooth remote because it just makes things a whole lot easier. The one that you see here is from Amazon and is compatible with both Apple and Android. This is definitely one of my favorite Amazon finds, but this is what the pictures look like. And by the way, for these, I use my camera in portrait mode. So that is how I take my pictures. And it's so funny because I actually ended up liking my iPhone pictures way better than the pictures that I took with the camera. I don't know if it was the lens that I was using or what. Maybe I was in the mood for more of a full body type of vibe. But anyways, once I get home, that's when I'll go ahead and edit them. For the most part, I use Visco Cam for my filters. And if I need to, if I need to edit something or add some more details, I'll go ahead and throw the picture into Facetune. But other than that, that is literally how I take 
my pictures of myself you literally can do this yourself don't wait for nobody make it happen by yourself okay okay so yes i'll definitely be sure to link everything that i use down below in the description if you'd like to see more content creator tips posing tips all that good stuff definitely be sure to follow me on ig as well as tiktok but anyways i hope you all did enjoy this video i hope it was useful to you if it was be sure to go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up if you aren't already be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed what are you doing go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of my fam thank you guys and i'll see y'all in the next one